Welcome to Mikunst Hardware. In this video I am going to announce you a series of several videos where I will be comparing 7 SSDs from AliExpress. This video is supposed to be out quite some time ago, but I never had time to compose everything and record the video. Originally I planned to test all 7 SSDs together and provide results in one big video. But after a while I have realized that the post is very unreliable and I still have not got all of my SSDs. Also, 7 SSDs in one video will be very hard to navigate and very hard to figure out the conclusion for one particular SSD. That is why I have decided to split it in several videos. First introduction video, then 7 videos, one for each SSD, and a conclusion video. Let's take a look at the SSDs I have picked up for the comparison. The list consists of 7 SSDs, each 256GB inside, with one exception, where long disk is 240GB inside, because it's not available in 256GB capacity. Unfortunately, I cannot afford buying 7 512GB SSDs just for the sake of testing, and 120GB is way too small to provide any meaningful information. That's why I decided to go with the 256GB capacity. So, on the list I have Lone Disk, LV Cards, Fujitsu, Wei Tin Ho, King's Back, King Dian, Golden Fear. All of the SSDs are within 25 euros price range. Some of them provide better warranty, others do not provide at all. For example, Golden Fear does not specify any write tolerance and does not provide any endurance in years. While Lone Disk provides the best warranty out of all of these, with 5 years and 290 terabyte write tolerance. Flash type is either TLC, MLC or QLC for all of the SSDs, with Golden Fear being the most fishy one, not providing warranty and not specifying flash type by just writing MLC, TLC and QLC. Let's quickly browse through AliExpress and take a look at each SSD tested. Starting with the long disk, we can see that it's available through all sorts of capacities, starting with 48 gigs and finishing at 480 gigs. The reviews are quite positive, 4.9 out of 5, with 93% of people providing 5 stars, with 1100 reviews and 1800 orders. For 240 gigs model they are asking 25 euros, and for 480 gigs model they are asking just 41 or almost 42 euros. It's very hard to say if this SSD is good or bad, but everything will be revealed after the testing. So far we can see the all standard AliExpress advertisement of how good their product is, but they are actually claiming to have 5 years warranty and 290 terabyte write endurance. Let's move to the next item, LV cards, also available in all sorts of capacities, starting with just 60 gigs and finishing at 1 terabyte. For 256 gigabyte model they are asking 22 euros. Only 66 reviews and 232 orders. I have picked out this SSD on purpose to take a look at what non-so-popular SSDs from AliExpress can provide. For 1TB model they are asking just 71 euros and for 480 gigs just 36 euros, which are very good prices. The next one is Fujitsu. Also available in all sorts of capacities, starting with 120 gigs and finishing at 1 terabyte. For 256 model they are asking 27 euros and for 1 terabyte 78 euros, 512 gigabytes 44 euros. Fujitsu is a well-known brand, but the brand itself was bought by Chinese and I have no idea if it's still standing for its original quality or not. Nevertheless, reviews are giving 96% 5 stars, with uh, about 1000 reviews and 2200 orders. A bit better than the previous LV cards, but also not as many orders as long disk. Let's go through the specification, warranty stays for 3 years, and the rest is just standard AliExpress advertisement with some claimed speed, which are just for reference. Let's move to Waitin Tho. This one starts with just 16 GB capacity and for 256 model they are asking just 21 euros, a bit more than 21 euros. For 1 TB just 66 euros, which is very little, and for 480 GB just 36 euros. 
On the review side they are having 90% 5 star reviews with just 163 reviews and about 500 orders. Not very popular SSD. One more of those dark horse SSDs which are gonna be tested and validated through my reviews. They also claim 3 years warranty and waiting to whole brand, high quality, blah blah, all the standard AliExpress advertisement bullshit which claims uh, certain things without any ground underneath. Kingspec is the next one and immediately we can see that this is a, a way more popular SSD compared to the previous few with 3700 reviews and 7800 orders having 4.9 review rating with a 92% giving 5 stars. Available capacity start with 32 GB and finishing at 960 GB model. For 256 GB model they are asking about 26 euros and for 960 GB just 72 euros. Oh, they actually have 2 terabyte model and for 2 terabyte model they are asking 154 euros, which is not bad at all. Let's take a look if they have some kind of a warranty specification. Yes, they specify warranty of uh, 3 years, some read-write speed for reference only. This means we cannot complain if the SSD is not working according to the advertised speeds. They also specify some sort of controllers, which means there might be any controller out of these 3 or anything else which is available at their disposal. The description page is having all the standard things which are available for every SSD on AliExpress, some speed tests just for reference only, and uh, some campaigns, advertisement and the rest stuff which we have already seen for other SSDs. Let's move to the sixth candidate in my test list. This is King Dian with uh, about 7000 reviews and 14000 Orders. Quite popular SSD, I would have to say. Available capacity start from 16 gigs and end up at 1 terabyte. For 256 gigs model, they are asking 27 euros, and for 1 terabyte model, they are asking just 75 euros. Not bad prices at all. Regarding the reviews, 94% of the people are giving 5 stars rating, which is very nice. And with such amount of reviews and orders, this must be meaning at least something. They also claim to have 3 years warranty, if this is true or not true. It's very hard to judge, because usually shipping the SSD back to China is gonna cost more than the SSD itself. Here we see some crystal disk mark results for different SSD capacities, but again this is claimed to be just for reference, so you cannot complain if you're not getting these speeds. The rest is just standard AliExpress advertisement saying how good their product is when compared to one terabyte hard drive, which is absolutely pointless in my opinion, but people are buying this. And the last but not least, Golden Fear SSD, which has 21,000 reviews and 49,000 orders. It's the most popular SSD on my list. Its availability starts with the 16 gigs capacity and finishes at 2 terabyte capacity. For 2 terabyte capacity, they are asking 155 euros, and for 256 gigs model, just about 23 euros. For the reviews, we are having 92% 5 star ratings out of 21,000 reviews. This must mean something, unless people are completely nuts and giving good reviews for some bad products. Let's take a look at the overview, they have the standard writings and actually they have updated the page to have 3 year replacement warranty, so maybe they are not that bad after all. Then we have some more test results again for different kind of capacities and again just for reference so you cannot complain if the results you are getting are not what they have claimed in the specification. This is done so they can sell whatever they want through AliExpress and AliExpress customer support cannot return you money if you're getting some complete garbage. Now let's talk about the testing method. First of all I'm gonna plug in the SSD, then check on Crystal Disk Info if this SSD is actually new or it's already having a few hundred of power on cycles. Of course, I'm also gonna check the status of the SSD, if it's good or bad. Next, I'm gonna run Crystal Disk Mark with 100% free capacity of the SSD, then I'm going to fill up 50% of the SSD with some files and run Crystal Disk Mark again, 
then I'm gonna fill up 80% of the SSD and run Crystal Disk Mark again. So there will be three rounds of Crystal Disk Mark with 100% free, 50% free and 20% free capacity of the SSD and I will compare the speeds, how the SSD behaves with the less and less free capacity available. Next will be the same with the SSD test, also testing with 100% free capacity, 50% free capacity and 20% free capacity. After that I'm gonna write 200 gigabytes of some random data to the SSD and measure the time. Then I'm gonna read these 200 gigabytes of random data and measure the time. After that I'm gonna perform endurance test of 5 terabyte writes. This means the SSD is gonna be completely reading and then erased and completely written and then again erased until I have read into the SSD 5 terabytes. If SSD fails during this test, this means it's a complete garbage, because more or less uh, quality SSDs should stay at least 200 terabyte writes. Cheap SSDs such as Kingston A400 are having write endurance only around 40 terabytes, maybe around 50 terabytes, but good SSDs such as Samsung Evo can stand for 1000 terabyte writes. After that I'm going to repeat the test and see if the SSD performance has degraded after 5 terabytes has been written to the SSD. And after that I will compare the results between all of the 7 SSDs and we might have a conclusion. For the test bench I'm going to use my main computer, which consists of AMD Ryzen Threadripper 1950X, 64GB of RAM, GB X399 Elros Pro motherboard, Samsung 970 Evo 1TB capacity. For the GPU I have Nvidia GTX 1080, which doesn't make any difference in this test, but still. And for the power supply I'm using EVGA Supernova 750W G2. I have already received a few of the SSDs to be tested, that's why you can expect some videos in this series to come out quite soon. For now, that's all I have for you, I hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, goodbye.